114 matches have led us here. The first Sunday of December, the 2021 Canadian Premier League final and the protagonists, they are fitting. The two-time defending champions, Forge, and the other Canadian Championship semi-finalists, Pacific of Langford, British Columbia, the pride of Vancouver Island. Matagua, when they were here, Tim Hortons Field, the last time Forge played in Hamilton. That match was finished 2-2, so Matagua advanced through to the final on aggregate. But what was one of the more remarkable things, the standing ovation Forge got on their way off the pitch. A mistake in the box, a quick shot from Manny Aparicio. And so fantastic for the club. And as we glance out from the press box windows, we still see some more of them filing into the pitch. Long range effort, bounces twice, but also wide of target. Callum Irving not forced into a save. Yeah, it's a massive miss for them. Um, they've had problems like that all season with Dejan Jakovic signing for the club, being out for pretty much the whole season. Losing Crutzen is on top of that is, is obviously the worst case. Fancy feet from Brownie from time to time to show you just exactly what is going on. Of course, you've got the Niagara Escarpment just to the south of the stadium. Hamilton Harbor just to the north side. So it has been dubbed the wind tunnel here in Hamilton. Stands foul on Brownie. We're going to get our first booking of the final as Usury Rudolph and sends Omar Brownie into his book here in the 17th minute. And Bully the target. Back heel for Awu, across first time towards the penalty spot, it's Kyle Becker! And from no corners from this side to a third for Kyle Becker. Closer to Irving who punches it, Ashnodi Janssen had the first touch. Campbell away, still with Forge in the 18. Centered again, heard the header. Brownie overhead kick, bounces off a couple of bodies. Potential for a handball, Pacific clear. Rightfully the ref waves it off and, and play continues. And smart play from the two Pacific players as well. But Bouli dragging and dragging towards the semicircle finally lets a strike fly. Will it be Becker or Borges? It's Kyle Becker. Here's the strike right into the awaiting gloves of Callum Irving. Becker back for Brownie. Those two connecting again. A back heel from Becker for Awua. Better ball, Welshman wastes the opportunity, and Mayor Jaguer gets it out of the 18. That should have been a tap-in finish. And Ajab Rapur taken off the ball by Babouli, who's battling for goal once again. Borges, left for Emery Welshman, thought about the shot instead of Lex to pass. Now Kyle Becker with the left boot. Irving gets both gloves on it. Pushes it over the crossbar and out for the corner. What a wild sequence that was, Ian Hume. I think they just need to keep doing what they're doing. Um, they're creating opportunities. They're getting set pieces. One of them eventually will finish off if they keep getting the, the amount of time they have. Well, it's a great start. It's Brownie. Yeah. Keep the back four. Midfield three of Aparicio, Hijabarpur holding. And the captain, Jamar Dixon, to the right side. Up top, Canada Santos leading the way. And on the ball now, Henry has to swat at it. A little bit unorthodox. Evidently, he's not caught him as much as he made out to be as he's got up and he's about to take the set piece. But he's caught him a little bit. It's nothing nothing worse than a yellow card. Well, essentially a corner kick for Pacific, and it is Dos Santos to take it. Headed on and in! Goal! Alessandro Hojab! It's Pacific who take the lead in the Canadian Premier League final. First time they have ever trailed in a CPL final. And if they don't get their goal in the next half hour, it'll be the first time they lose one. Brownie whiffs, Borges! He needs to remember how influential he is, and there he goes with an incredible through ball. <laughs> Never comfortable, but it was almost effective. Some of the Pacific players getting active as well. Less than 30 minutes and Forge needs a goal. All of this will be part of the string pulling for Pamadou Kaz. His side looks for an insurance marker. Josh Hurd off the crossbar! Brownie. Three touches and now across. Bounces once, Navarro. 1v1 with Caden Chung. Chung extending, Irving diving and making the stop. Jamar Dixon and Manuel Paricio have, have more than matched, if not bettered, 
the Forge midfield today. And the job is certainly not done yet from Pacific. Brownie shrugs up Baldissimo. Gloves from Irving. McNaughton has to get a boot under it. Brownie gets by Haynes. Young both towards the middle. Taken down by Jamar Dixon, and it is given. Bobby Smyrniotis came over. He just got booked more times off. Pamaduka is going to get booked as we get one more look at the skirmish between everyone. Well, Omar Brownie, you may remember, was booked in the 16th minute. Well, Brown, yeah, Brownie's off. So Brownie's gone. He's there standing between the tunnel. Nearly out of time and down a man. One last hope, perhaps, from Babuli. This is it for Forge. Headed away by Aparicio, one more throw in. Got to deliver. Kyle Becker receives. It's heading in towards the goal, but it's wide. From Lankford with love. Champions of the Canadian Premier League, Pacific FC. Denying the dynasty, doing it on the road, and top of the table. Thoroughly deserved, to be honest. With that second half performance, they were up against it first half. That second half performance from start to finish, to be honest. The energy, the intensity, the belief that this team had.